Good morning and welcome to our review of the second quarter GDP components and uh, detail for the second quarter of 2018. If you look at our chart, we show the 2018 second quarter in gold. We show the immediately prior quarter 2018 uh, Q1 in red and we show the uh, prior year second quarter in blue. As you can see we had a pretty good quarter 4.1% um, GDP growth. <clears throat> However, um, we are concerned we have some issues here. The first is this uh, personal consumption expenditures which increased by 2.69%. As you can see there was a considerable drawback uh, last quarter when it printed at just 0.36 uh, of a percentage point. And we had a similar issue here in net exports which increased at 1.04 percentage points contributing a total of uh, over 3.5 73% to the total GDP. What we didn't see, and I was surprised, is uh, gross domestic investment. And we'll unwrap that a little bit later on in, in a later slide. Here's a breakdown of the personal consumption expenditures we saw in summary in the uh, first slide. <coughs> You'll note this is the total. It was 2.69 and it's made up of durable goods, non-durable goods, and services. In the services sector, there was uh, quite a bit of uh, purchasing in the healthcare and the uh, utilities, home utilities sector. Uh, in durable goods, you'll see that this uh, was down in the last quarter and uh, it was also insignificant, uh, basically zero in the non-durable goods sector in the first quarter. So I think what's happened relative to prior quarters uh, is that we saw a, a drawback in the first quarter and now in, uh, those expenditures being stacked up in the second quarter. So it tends to be a statistical anomaly. Um, that would obviously boost GDP in the second quarter to the 4.1 percent it is, uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we have a thriving or even necessarily a healthy economy. Here in the detail of the change in gross domestic investment, you can see that uh, private inventories were drawn down, which, which is likely to speak well for the third and fourth quarters as that inventory gets built up again. Um, there was decent performance in fixed investment, um, but actually we're expecting a lot more uh, under the new tax bill with the ability to expense items immediately and the capital items immediately and the uh, repatriation of long dormant uh, funds overseas supposedly being repatriated to the United States we were expecting to see a lot more in fixed investment and instead in the second quarter most of the uh, growth came from personal consumption expenditures and from exports, something we didn't expect at all. Here is the breakdown of uh, net exports. Again, as you can see, it added 1.06 uh, to the total GDP growth of 4.1%. And again, this was unexpected. Um, some have theorized that the 1.12 uh, percent growth in exports was attributable perhaps to the to the Chinese uh, storing and stockpiling goods uh, in advance of uh, Donald Trump's 
tariffs, which took place on uh, July the 6th. That may actually have some basis for it. Uh, we discussed that more in the uh, summary, or actually the detailed report that we uh, submit to uh, Seeking Alpha, if you care to take a look at that. And there's a chart there that explains that uh, almost 70% of the growth uh, in exports, uh, general exports, came from uh, the growth in, in foods, ex, exports of foodstuffs. So you might want to take a look at, in that detail. The chart is, is in the article. <clears throat> Other things we're looking at that give us concern. The three-month, 10-year yield that we have been concerned about for quite some time has fell down as far as the low 80 basis points um, this month and we are continuing to be concerned about it. Um, I think it, the, the three year is, is ratcheting itself back up, but it is still a volatile measure. And of course, we are on the watch for an inver inverted yield curve, which would signal uh, a future recession. We do a analysis uh, in quite some depth at uh, a website called seekingalpha.com, uh, which re is requires sign up, but it's a free crowdsourced website um, of stock recommendations and uh, economics and what have you. Um, so check us out in more detail there. We go into ex excruciating detail and uh, we also show uh, some of the things we suggest in the way of stock purchases or shorts um, based on what we're seeing in GDP. We first post uh, our charts, uh, both on jobs and on uh, GDP, at uh, our website, uh, stysquare.com. Uh, under client advisories, if you tip down there, you will see a, uh, uh, a flash reports and you can access the charts there uh, first. We post it on our Twitter feed, uh, which is at Sty Square here. And we post it on our LinkedIn page uh, here. So, uh, if you would like to keep abreast of our latest information, uh, we I suggest you use the contact us uh, form that will drop down this subscribe to our mailing list uh, page. It shows the email, first name, etc. Um, that will give you access to our monthly newsletter, uh, the free content, and uh, if you wish, you can. Also add the premium content, which is available for a charge. That concludes our discussion of the 2018 second quarter GDP report. We will return on Friday, August 3rd, with our discussion of the uh, July jobs report. Thanks very much. Bye.